So I've got a little treat for you today. I've got my friend Nahida from the Prime Market. How are you? <laughs> How are you? Great. So what are you making for us today? We make a lot of dips ourselves. Yes. So I thought I'd give you three easy um, dips you can actually accompany your salmon with. Perfect. Salmon first? Salmon first. Cool. Um, I need to, obviously you're going to help me here. Yep. Because uh, you're a great help. I'm going to need a pinch of salt on that. Yep. And some olive oil. All right. Okay. So if you can pass me the salt. I'll pass you the salt. Thank you. I'll grab that. So you, you want to salt it and oil it on both sides? Yeah. Can I have the oil, please? Gorgeous. All right. And so you can actually use that on both of them if you want. Just, okay. just actually rub it all so over. So just rub it all in? Yeah, you can. Too easy. Yeah. So, Nahida, you make the most amazing dips, and I love Thank them. You. I come Thank by you. and visit you at least once a week. I, I try to anyway. So is this what's going to happen today? We're making some dips. Yeah, well, we traditionally we have a Mediterranean um, background, and um, dips are our specialty. So yeah. we like really strong, robust kind of dips with a lot of flavour. And um, in our cooking and in our dips, that's what we like to portray all the time. Perfect. All right. So our pan's hot. Yep. It's time to put the salmon on. Absolutely. Skin side down. Skin side down, please. Beautiful. We'll just give it a, a couple of minutes just yep. so that the skin actually sears quite nicely. I mm -hmm. like a nice crispy skin. Sure. And then we turn the heat down low just so that it cooks gently really right gently. through. Perfect. Yep. All right. So from there. I'll let that do its thing. Let What's that next? Do its thing. Next thing is we are concentrating on our three tahini dips. So mm -hmm. first of all, I'm going to make the plain tahini. So here I've got about 200 grams. Perfect. So we'll bring that down into the bowl. Yum. Now this is the easiest dip you can make and you can make so many flavours with it. It is so versatile, it is not funny. With the tahini, we're going to add some water. It actually determines how thick, runny, you know, very firm, very loose. Yep. You can actually play with the uh, with the water. So the water changes the texture, basically. Absolutely. So we'll do a little bit at a time, and uh -huh. we'll start stirring that through. Now I know this will look a little bit, I don't know, not coming together, I Sw suppose. Um, separated, yeah. Yeah, it's separated, but don't be disheartened. So this is exactly what we want. Now, as we start mixing it, it will start coming together, but it's coming together really, really thickly. We'll keep doing that until we get a nice kind of thick consistency. That's what we're Gorgeous. that's what we're looking at. I don't want it too runny because I do need to add the um, lemon juice yep. and the salt, and that obviously will change its consistency Yum. as well. So we'll just leave that as is. Mm -hmm. So if you can peel the garlic, and then while you're doing that, I am going to squeeze the three lemons. Usually I'll do a lemon for each one, but seeing that I'm doing three, so I might as well do all three together at once. Perfect. So at Nahida's Choice, your store, do you use this as a base for a lot of your dips? Yes, we do. Uh, sesame seeds uh, are a major part of the Mediterranean culture. Yeah. They're very high in vitamins. Yep. I mean, 20% of of the actual sesame seed is protein. Yeah. So we do use it a lot. So I'm gonna check on this for you. Yeah. What do you think? That's looking good? I think so, yeah. All right. Over. Time to flip. Time to flip. Time to flip. And but keep it on really low heat. Yep, it's on a really low really heat setting, low so you heat. want it to be really gentle. Yep, really gentle. Perfect. So I've seen um, tahini used to actually bake fish in. Do you do that? You can bake fish as well in it too. Yeah, so it needs a bit of extra time because the tahini acts differently with heat. Yep. More if you keep it just in its raw form as well. Yep. So obviously you need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But what we've what we've done here is the most basic thing that absolutely anyone can do at home. So awesome. we've got the lemon juice ready. Yep. We've got the garlic, so you're right with that, or do you want me to start? Um, do, are we doing them in batches, or do you want them all in together? I want them in all together, okay. and also I'm actually going to put the salt in with the garlic, because uh -huh. I find that when I crush the garlic without salt, the garlic kind of comes out everywhere. Yeah. Salt actually holds it all together. That's a great tip. So, that's a fantastic tip. Well, that's the way my grandma used to do it, and my mother-in-law. <laughs> Now, with the tahini, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two-thirds of the lemon juice in here. So, is this the texture that you kind of wanted? It becomes quite pasty? Yes. For the garlic? Pasty texture, yeah. That's gorgeous. All right. I I'm love adding, the smell of it. It is garlic. Who doesn't like garlic? <laughs> it's a natural wonder herb of the world. Mm. Um, I just like about two-thirds of that garlic in here. 
Very nice. Is that it? Yeah, That's I you? think so, yeah. Yep. Just probably a touch more, I think. A touch more? Yeah. Cool. Perfect. I'm here to help. All coming together now. So now. You, you don't salt this because the salt already went into here. Yeah, so what we do now is we actually taste it. Okay. Mm, it's so creamy. Mm, it's very creamy. Mm. I think I might need a little bit more salt. Yeah, I, I think so. Salt. So that's why we only put a little bit here, but then we add a little bit more salt here. Now you can feel the garlic in your throat. That's why we kept the fish as plain as. Yeah. And we play around with the tahini. This tahini is pretty much done and it's the consistency that I want. So this tahini is done. I've got two separate bowls here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the tahini evenly into both bowls. And that's gonna be for me. So you can really make as much as you want. If you want it a little bit looser, you just add a little bit more water. It's not gonna do anything, but it will spread a little bit more. So exactly the same way we made the first tahini, we're gonna make with the black tahini. Okay. So again, I'm gonna put, put about 100 grams in here. Yum. I mean, the color's beautiful. Now we're gonna add, again, the water. Yep. So we're gonna add a little slight amount. And we're gonna mix it through. All right, you're gonna work your magic and put the garlic in? Yep, all of it. Okay, yeah. Just tell me what you think of this. It should be mixed. Oh. So if it's the same thing, we might need a little bit more salt. Just a pinch. Pinch of salt. Just a pinch, yeah. Yep. Pinch of salt. So we've got the three tahini. So we've got the two plain ones and we've got the black one. Now, I'm going to turn this one into a green tahini. Okay. This is where being creative comes in, a green tahini. This one, we're going to do a chilli paprika tahini. Okay. I need you to cut some parsley up, mm -hmm. chop it up very fine, but very just fine. the top without the stalks at all. Okay. Chop it up as fine as you can. So then we pound them and then that's what we add into um, one of the tahinis to yep. give it that green colour. So it'll come out like a nice green pistachio kind of oh, colour. Oh, beautiful. So the pan's really hot. Yep. You want to just char that side of the I lettuce? I just want to char one side of the lettuce. And, and is that the texture you want? Is that all good? That is all good. But I really shouldn't be doing this. You should be doing this. I mean, you're the muscle man. I've been pounding away <laughs> here. You're doing the easy right, stuff. I'll give it, hand it over. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay, all, all good I think so. That's looking yeah, good. yeah. It's so vibrant, it's so green. Mm. Let's have a look at that one. Uh-huh, just a touch more, I think. Yep. Yeah. You really want that smokiness to come out. So that's why the pan's so hot. So you kind hot. of want to burn that underside. Yeah, I do. This is your parsley pound down to a very fine grind, which we're gonna do with the tahini. Nice. Now don't forget, because this is liquidy as well, that'll also make the tahini go a little bit more... Loose. Loose. True. Wow, that's beautiful. I was wondering why we had two tahini. Yes, because we want three different colours. Now this is the fresh green tahini. I think that might be enough, huh? All right, cool. Yeah. Turn that off. Cool. Have a look at him. Is that yep. what you wanted? Brilliant. Perfect. So yep. I'll just leave it there to yep. do its thing. This is your complete green tahini. Done. Next is your chilli paprika. So you've got a very mild, refreshing one. Yep. Then you've got a chilli paprika. Do you like heat? You I like, love You heat. like hot stuff. Okay. I love heat. So it depends on how much you want to put. Look, I'll probably put about half a teaspoon. Yep. But I know this is quite chilli, so... So that's a hot paprika. That's a hot paprika. So that's your dish done. Look, I can't wait to get right into this. Thank, Thank you, you for coming today. Right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>